Hello and welcome to the first regular episode of um, season six of From a Backyard to the Top. To the top, I can't even speak properly. And this episode is called High Flying Darlow. So we'll have a few games here first, and we'll drop into a, or jump into a live game actually. And then we'll finish off uh, the last few games after that. So let's get into the game. Right here you can see we are... You can see where we are, right? You can see where we are in the league as of yet. Drop my pen. Sorry about that. Um, but we are gonna get into... To where we are in the league. We're gonna get into the games first, foremost. Schedule. So, in the last episode, we kind of went through uh, the preseason and the three first games of the regular. Well, two games in le the league and one EFL Cup round. Uh, first round game against Sunderland. Um, so we are gonna jump straight into the Morkemb, Morkemb, Morkemb game at home. Morkemb was in twentieth place at the time. Place at the time, two uh, two games into the season. And you can see we we did a pretty solid effort here. Didn't score enough though. We did have twenty four shots against our seven. And 62% possession. Third in shots on target. Didn't really create any 100% chance, I suppose. Uh, had some had a half chance counted there. But all in all, we did uh, we did dominate this game uh, pretty well, I should say. Uh, man of the match, Jordan Barnett. No goals, no assists, just a very solid defensive effort, I suppose. First goal for us was by James Norris, own goal in the 37th minute. And finished it off quite late, so it was quite open a long time, even though we were the dominant force in this game. We couldn't really close it until the 86th minute. So... Just a counter and it would be 1-1, one, one, which would be very unfair, but luckily enough that didn't happen. It's pretty much how we've been playing early on. We kind of changed a little bit, um, well, central defender a little bit. It was all to play this one, otherwise it's been Howe and Barnett out on the wings there. We have switched around a little bit on the defensive mid position. Winchester played this one. Got a McGavin in front of him. Then Nolan and Tormi on the wings and back up top. Beck did a, had a good game, just didn't score. Um, was subbed off in the 81st and Harry Smith scored after just five minutes. So that's what he signed him for. Kind of. Uh, so we don't have Beck play 90 minutes every week. And can we get some goals from Harry Smith? I will be happy. And we did get some goals from him here. Well, some goals. We did get one goal from him here. Um, it was probably his first first match for us as well. After more camp, we were back in cup action against Stockport away. We probably just take this out here a little bit. That's fine. Um, it's not a way game, as I said. We did give Harry Smith the start here, as he did the score um, against Morgan Darm. The dying minutes. So we gave him a shot. Otherwise, pretty, pretty much the same. Gruel Pollard came in instead of Vassal. Winchester continued there with Sutton McGavin. Uh, he did kind of um, rest uh, Tormi a bit. Uh, gave Mitchell Lawson. 
he got a chance out on the right wing position and then Smith started them. Uh, Smith took that chance very well. He did score twice early in the second half. 47th and 52nd. You can take a look at the goals. As he is uh, a sub for Beck, you would assume he scores like Beck does. And yeah, he does. <laughs> and yes, he does. Uh, he does score like Beck. Sorry, that was my phone. Can I put that on to not disturb so we don't get disturbed? And then his second goal. You can take a look at as well. Sudden at the ball. Find Smith in the middle. I actually didn't head that, but <laughs> Beck would probably have tried to head that. But you know, Harry Smith didn't. He didn't. Uh, two goals from him, man of the match, 8.6 rating. Uh, didn't really play that much from the wings. Depends only a very good effort, especially Howe and Barnett from the wing back positions. Barnett with an assist as well. Sutton also had an assist. So, to that last goal, actually, last Harry Smith goal, and then Barnett assisted to the first one so yeah true to the, the third round is it yeah third round and we will be playing liverpool <laughs> so that would be fun that televised event from blackwell meadows gonna give us 18k euros for that it's gonna be fun to to go up against my favorite team as well so it's gonna be fun it'll be fun but that's not right now. Right now, we are still in uh, August. Well, the last game of August here against Carlisle. Carlisle was dead last as we traveled up there, I think. I think Carlisle is up somewhere. Like, I think so. I'm not sure. I think it's up north in England somewhere so let's go with that um, Jack Nolan scored here early second half pretty much where we scored our goals uh, so far this season a lot of goals just after half time not a lot of first half goals at all from us um, solid defensive effort again Especially from Barnett and Howe, who taken their last year's form into this new season as well. Taylor played the DM in this one. McEvin Sutton continues on the central midfield. Nolan and Tormi. Tormi didn't have one of his best games. Nolan had an okay game. Also scored as well. Um, no assists on his goal. No assists on his goal. I can't really remember this goal. Really? <laughs> so, take a look at it. See if I can refresh my memory. So, how will that show? McGavin, back to how? Oh, girl, Pollard just heads that up in the, in the bar. So, that's no assist. Right. Stop Dean, Vassal, James Ball, Mitchell Lawson. We have have late subs here James Ball came in did a decent effort no rating on the people subbed in in the 79th though but a solid game from us I think we could have played better but you know it's an away game even though it against uh, the last team in the league I'll take the win pretty good attendance as well up, up there quotation marks if it's really up there <laughs> i don't know where it is i'm just taking a guess that it's close to newcastle or whatnot i have nothing to back that up it's just a guess just something that feels right okay then we were into the well papa john trophy i guess papa john's trophy um efl league trophy or whatever it's called an away game against Mansfield. Mansfield is also in League 2, they're 14th right now. 
So they open the scoring, and we didn't score first half. We never do. Um, we were down a long time in this game. We did we did have a lot of ball. We did um, a lot of possession, I should say. Um, took some shots, had some chances. Didn't really. Well, we didn't score until the 83rd minute by James Hardy. Then Harry Smith finished this off just before uh, the end there. Brett McGavin had an assist, man of the match as well, 7.8, been really solid for us so far. Started another good game too, Tormi and Nolan didn't really provide that much to Beck. Beck still had a decent game, I guess. But not in his, his super form as he's been the last few years, but he still, he still scored some goals. Not like one goal a game or anything. Harry Smith's really been a super sub for us here. Uh, finished this off as well. Came in in the 84th minute, scored in the 88th. So <laughs> it's it's good to have those those players on the bench, to be fair. And I mean, Hardy came in from the bench as well, scoring. So it's good that we can change the, change the game with our, with our subs. That's always nice to see. Decent effort defensively again, especially from how we didn't assist this time. You can take a look at Hardy's goal first, the 1-1 one, one goal from... Oh, I almost call him old, but he's not that old, he's only 30. But it feels like he's old because he's been here all uh, since I got here, really. Sutton here finds McGavin, Hardy wide open in the middle, can just head that home. Then we have Harry Smith. Bad clearance, how find Smith. That's a really nice goal, actually. That's not Beck. That's not um, how Beck score his goals. Harry Smith does, though. Been really solid for us. Uh, like two, um, two subs in, in the league, one goal, one start in the Carabao Cup, two goals, uh, one sub in Papa John's Trophy, one goal. We just had one start and three and um, get subbed on three times and scored four goals so might take back's position zone so. back scored five goals in six games though so <laughs> it's kind of, kind of hard to replace him you know but anyway it took us well doesn't, doesn't take us through because you know it's it's a group stage but we started it very well. We only played one game. We have up against Rockdale next time, so. And then went back to the league away game in Exeter. St. James Park in Exeter. Exeter won ninth at the time. So a pretty tough away game. No easy points to get here. It was a very even game, too. Could have gotten it either way, really. 18, 17 shots, 9, 8 on target. We cre They create a lot of half chances. We have had more clear-cut chances than they did. But all in all, I would say this was a very even game. Uh, fair, fairest of result would probably have been a, been a draw here. But Mark Beck scored twice. Actually, we scored before half-time this time around. And then Mark Beck scored again right after half-time. Made this 2-0 before Matt J uh, made this 1-2 James Ball then well I thought kind of clinched the victory here with his goal in the 71st minute they got a consolation goal late late on it was pretty much day scoring and then on the kickoff the, the referee just blew it off so Mark Beck man of the match right Oh, he wasn't man of the match. Oh, Matt J was man of the match with 9.0 rating. He was our man of the match, though. Mark Beck with his two goals and 8.8. .8. Um, we actually had two assists from Nate Tormey. So very good game from him. Uh, not a equally good game from Mitchell Lawson on the other side, but... For ones who were actually not over 7 rating on our midfielder so I assume they kind of won that uh, won the midfield battle How had a good game again Barnett 
Well, it was solid. We we normally get some assists and eight point something rating from him, so we're kind of spoiled in that regard. Uh, Google Pollard really struggled in this game. Six point two. Vassal didn't have one of his best games either. So, but still a win here against a pretty difficult opponent away from home. So I'll definitely take that in a you know even game like this and then uh, the last game before we go into the live game against Accrington is a home game against Stockport Stockport who we beat in the league cup earlier 2-0 away and this game was at home Another win for us, so that takes us up to only wins actually in the league so far. I think we have two, three, four, five, six wins, zero draws, and zero losses so far. So you can't really complain at anything about that start. And Mark Beck scored again. Also a goal in the first half this time, in the 19th minute he scored. The only game, only game, only goal of the game. A corner from McGavin finds Beck, he heads it home. Typical Beck fashion, of course. Uh, we're struggling a bit in this game. Didn't really get the chances, they actually had more possession than we did as well. It's not very often we see that when we're at home. Barnett struggled, that's something we'd never see e um, either. Either That's nothing we see very often, to be fair. Google Pollard had an okay game after his kind of stinker game last time around. Um, Vassal was good, Howe was good, Lemoignan solid as well. Taylor has kind of been playing down there at the defensive midfield position, even though we have kind of signed Winchester, but Winchester hasn't really, really showed us anything, so Taylor kind of took over that position, done pretty well. McGavin, another good game with an assist from him, playing off a more deep lane playmaker there, and Sutton is a more box-to-box -box kind of guy. Formy had an okay game. Uh, Hardy, Hardy got the start here, didn't really do much. Uh, Beckman of the match. He has 7.4 and being man of the match on 7.4 uh, kind of tells you it's not... It's not a great game from either of the sides really, is it? But a win is a win, right? And um, well, we have quite a few now. We have six straight wins in the league, so... I mean, we were really good last season already, and we have kind of strengthened our side, and it kind of shows here in the table. Haven't really butchered any teams, like 2-0, 1-0, 3-2, 4-0, 5-0, 6-0, 7-0, 8-0, 9-0, 10-0, 11-0, 12-0, 13-0, 14-0, 15-0, 16-0, 17-0, 18-0, 19-0, 20-0, 
there any changes we want to do i don't think there is any changes we want to do really we actually loaned out sam darby as well it just happened actually um not county as we have both back and um both back and harry smith right now he's not gonna get a lot of playing time as a striker for us so it's gonna be interesting to see if he can get some playing time over here in notts county played 29 uh, games for us last year in six goals never really scored for being a for being a striker but never too late is it 26 years old now so let's see if he can get some goals over in not over in nottingham i should say not county so this is the team we go with how was all Gerald pollard barnett taylor sudden mcgavin tormy nolan and mark beck and lemognan in goal of course so only change from last game against stockport is that jack nolan goes in instead of james Hardy. Media is giving you a lot of credit lately. All right, let's see here. We're at home. So let's see if we can add another game to our win streak. Yeah, they have a lot of ball early on, a lot of possession, but nothing really happening, so... So not a great live game for you all. <laughs> not gonna lie, first half, well, maybe they will score now. I mean, we don't really score first half, do we? Should have passed that ball. Through the back early there, one sudden tore me. Comes back to sudden. Oh, what a goal from Levi Sudden! Oh, Levi Sudden, what a strike! What a strike! Makes that one nil just before half time. Very nice play between him and Tormi there. Gets the ball back and just smashes that up. Top bin. Up bins. So a great game. <laughs> Two, three in shots. One, one on target. Oh, what an amazing first half. We definitely need more possession. No fucking joke, man. No joke at all. They have a free kick now. This is pretty dangerous area to give away a free kick in. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> give me a heart attack here on the bench, on the sidelines. Holy hell, dude. So Nolan isn't having one of his best games at all. Having like a 640 game, which isn't great. Let's get Mitchell Lawson in. Let's see if he can do anything mcgavin isn't actually having a great game either Let's see if tom scully can do anything it's not very often we see mcgavin struggling rawson mcginty oh very good barnett just falls that away oh this is dangerous that post again just get the ball away got them <laughs> don't just give them the ball back holy shit free kick Ooh. What was that was all i think it was was all uh, leave my sudden's pretty beat they didn't tore me Let's take Sutton out. He's been running a lot. So let's get James Ball in. Yeah, this is a steal from us. This is a 
total robbery. A total robbery. <laughs> Six shots, one on target, one goal. They had 12 shots, just three on target though, but wasn't the best live game you could. Uh, we didn't play as well as we could happy with the result, yeah, for sure. It's gotta be. I gotta be. <laughs> I gotta be happy with that result. I mean, I can't know. Seven straight in the league, yes. I didn't think we we're gonna win that. Definitely not. It's. Having just 35% possession, like, first half was the same, so I thought we were gonna be pretty punished in the second half if that continued, and apparently continued, but he just couldn't score. So I'll take that. So I will take that. And it wasn't a great game from us, so now we have Liverpool next, so that sort of be fun. <laughs> but yeah. I will be fast forwarding to the end of this period. We have a few more games. Um, we'll go through with the Liverpool and the Cambridge game. And we'll probably finish it off after that. So, join me over there. Okay, so we are here now to go through the last two games, which actually turns out to be losses. <laughs> um, what's about to happen? Like, you can't go like six games. Winning six straight games can't go on forever, can it? Well, in the league, we were definitely going to lose against Liverpool. That was pretty obvious from the get go. But Cambridge. A loss away from home. Not really that shocking. Cambridge haven't lost yet. A really strong side as well. Now third in the league. So a really tough away game there. I mean, we did beat Akron and Stanley at home. But at home and away is two different things. And they're kind of equally strong sides. So... Going to the Liverpool game, they kind of had their way out with us early on, scored uh, three goals in like 25 minutes. Smith did take us back a little bit in the second half. He had pretty much scored on everything here. Harry Smith did play because Mark Beck got an injury during um, practice and will be out for a month or so, which isn't great for us. But good for us that Smith is scoring anyway. Two goals. Um, first in the 74th minute. Uh, Barnett was uh, suspended for this game. So Gruel played out here. Mitchell Lawson with a nice, um, nice cross into Smith. Who scored. Uh, Mitchell Lawson came in in the 73rd minute. And in the 94th, McGavin with a corner. Kind of a chaos in there around Callahers. Box, which we, we managed to score. We didn't have much chances. We, we scored on what we got pretty much. So definitely take that. Liverpool were weren't playing their best 11. Had a lot of youngsters in. Nicolas Campo here. Mar Marcio. Morato. Morato isn't a youngster though. He's actually 25 years old. Sign from Benfica. Yeah. A Pulgarin. Also a region. Not a lot of Colombians. Like Campo is Colombian. Marches Portuguese, Bulgarians, Colombian, Morton's probably Morton. Yeah, it's their own um, own play area. Thought I recognized the name and region Tobin. Illich. Oh, from Verona, Ryan. Yeah, signing from Verona. 
Um, Nunez was playing. Nunez been struggling since, well, with the goals. He's been alright. I guess he's playing a lot of uh, wing. So four goals, nine goals, six goals. Actually, he scored ten goals last year. The other side, the Gabi. Gabi goal was playing. So no Inter signed him. He didn't really have anything anything going in Europe. They went back on loan to Santos and then Flamenco. Then they stole him to Flamenco where he's been solid. And Liverpool apparently bought him 12 mil. He doesn't really play that much, but 17 games, 6 goals, 5 games, 1 goal, 9 games, 1 goal last year. It's a good uh, good squad player, I suppose. Then they had Jamie Donnelly signed from Tottenham for half a mil. Old is he? 21 years old, Northern Ireland. Interesting. Hasn't really played anything. Yeah. Scored twice a year, though. So There's an interesting, interesting prospect. We can call him a prospect, even though he's 21 years old, right? He also missed a penalty. Let's see, did they sub anyone in? Anyone? Any top player they didn't really have any top players on the bench either, so Ryan. So they were pretty confident they will win this game. They didn't even brought any of their uh, senior players to this match. Uh, more than Nunez probably and Gabri Gabi Barbosa, Ilich and those who played about No Salah or stuff like that. Unless he's not there anymore. Well, the same Adiyami from Adiyami from Borussia Dortmund. Luis Diaz still there. Oh, they actually signed Rodri. Trent still there. Morad is actually one of their top uh, value players. Gomez still there. And Struik from Leeds as well. Harvey Elliott still there, but injured. Ah, Salah is still there. 34 years old. Van Dijk. Fabinho, Allison. Right. So yeah, we're now out in the, in the EFL Cup. Uh, didn't expect anything else after being uh, drawn against Liverpool. But 5,000 at, um, at Blackwell Meadows, 5,531, which is max. <laughs> so it was maxed out totally. And no shock there, no shock there. And then we had this game against Cambridge away from home. Pollard had a shocking game. Absolutely atrocious, man. Uh, they scored only goal of the game really early. We're like down like 8-2 in shots in first half or something like that. So made some early substitution with Lawson and Nolan. We put Lawson up, up as a striker actually because Smith was terrible. Well, it didn't have much help from wingers who weren't really that good either. Yeah, McGavin Sutton also had bad games, but not as bad as Gruel Pollard 5.9. Only one that kind of get a decent, get away with a decent rating here is how. Yeah, really bad game from us. Uh, first loss of the, the season. First, first time we actually dropped points. And we were well discerned of dropping points in this game. Uh, should have lost with more than we did, actually. Absolutely awful game. We should be disappointed with the result. They were noticeably better than us, but we come out of the losing side of a close game. Yeah, they were better than us, but we were shit. Uh -huh. 
still top of the league though with seven wins and one loss it's pretty tight up there though Trammer is going strong Cambridge we just lost against going strong had the only team in the league that hasn't lost a game yet so Accrington's going strong as well as Lincoln Doncaster Fleetwood Bradford Bristol so a lot of teams involved in this um, playoff promotion battle at the moment well it's only eight games in so as I said Mark Beck is out injured out injured for two to four weeks he's been out for seven days now hasn't really been well he had to pick up some injuries here all this year I suppose he's getting older hasn't really struggled with a lot of injuries in the earlier earlier in this um, kind of save the damage foot in 2023 gash lower leg 2024 2025 this year is a pull hamstring a tight Achilles a calf strain and uh, yeah and now James Hart is also out right now for a week or so for a stub too then we had we took in Gary Gardner on I kind of want to sign him but then I realized uh, uh, we can't re register him until January anyway, so no need for us to, to pay pay him money for not playing, really. Because Ashley Madison was also on the sign, but same there. I can't really I can't really register them until January, so which means I would have to pay them wages for three months without them playing which I don't really want to do but if we go into Skybet later we have Mr. Caden Jackson 80 goals in 8 games for Accrington average rating Aaron Rowe for Cranmer Archie Proctor for Accrington Keon Huddlestone for Barrow Barrow isn't really up here are they? Where's Barrel? 13. It's a good for them to have a player third in the league average rating. Since we have Tanga for Accrington. Torm is up there in second place. Tied. Player of the match most times Archie Proctor, Accrington, and Mumbongo. Jewel Mumbongo for Tranmer. Clean sheets. We have. Um, Lemoyne tied first with five together with Lewis Ward for Cambridge and Zach Hamming, Zachary Hamming for Lincoln City and the yellow card Eli King for walking with five take a look at our squad then we'll go into that I guess overall we have six goals from Harry Smith, five from Mark Beck. Assist, we have Nathan Thorme on five, McGavin with three, Jordan Barnett with three, Jack Nolan with two. Expected goals, Mark Beck with four, Jack Nolan with 1.8. See, Harry Smith expected goals 1.81, he scored six. So, player of the match most times, Mark Beck and Jordan Barnett twice. We go into yellow card, we have four on Pollard, three on Nolan, three on Taylor, three on Barnett, three on Tormey, no red cards. Average rating, Harry Smith really solid when he got the chance. Uh, Teddy Howe having a really good season again so far, 7.33. Mark Beck as well, James Baldwin good, he's mainly been subbed on though. Barnett starting strong again. I mean he had a really good last year when we signed him from Wrexham. So he's continuing that form into this year which is nice. Lemoynen still solid. Been really good for us over the last three years or the last two years I should say. This is the third year. McGavin been good as well. 
signed him to be that creative force on midfield, which he has been. Three is two assists so far and a good average rating. So hopefully we have even more to see from him. Yeah, that's pretty much all I had for this one. So in the next one, we'll go into um, to October, where we have a lot of games. We have like eight games in October, mainly League 2 games. So we'll probably go through October in the next episode and then leave it at that, pretty much. You have Doncaster, who is six, going to be a tough away game. Rockdale at home with second, going to be a really rough home game as well. Stephen H is last, so that should probably be an easy home game. Grammar at home, who is second. Booking is 11th away. Bradford at 8th away. Walsall at 15th at home. Wild at 14th away. So we have a really really a pretty tough schedule here in October as some a few games that we should take some easy points in but then it's a really rough especially Rockdale Tranmer Doncaster not gonna be easy either so yeah some tough games coming up for real um so we'll see how that goes and we have well the Rockdale game is the EFL trophy game so it's not a, a league game but Doncaster, Tranmer, Bradford might be tough as well. So some tough games for real in that, in the next episode. But for now, I bid you all adieu, and we are leaving top of the league. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.